first of all, we come to say thank you. Thank you for your goodness, God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for keeping us. Hallelujah. And we just want to say thank you because you've been so good to us. And you allowed us to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and into your courts with praise. And God, we just want to bless you on today. We just want to lift you up on today. We want to glorify you on today. We want to praise you on today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Now bless what we do here, God. Let your spirit rule, rest, and abide with us on today. Let us hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying unto us on today. Bless us through your preach word, God. Bless us through your red word, God, in the name of Jesus. Bless us through the songs that shall be sung on today. And we give you glory right now. In the name of Jesus, God, and we lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. You said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men, God, unto thee, God. And we want you to draw them now in the name of Jesus. And we give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Come on, let's praise him one more time. That was good for me. That was good for me. But if you praise him, the one who died for your sins, but he didn't stay there, he got out with all power in his hand, and he gave us the rights to give him praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. Hallelujah. Our responsive reading is found in 1 Thessalonians 5, 11 through 18. It's on the big screen if you didn't bring your Bibles on today. It's in your bulletin. I will be the leader. You will be the congregation. Ah, ah, glory to God. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. God, you're so good. It says, wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Mm. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and be at peace among yourselves. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Pray without ceasing altogether in everything, for this is the will of God in Jesus. For this is the will of God, hallelujah, in Christ Jesus concerning you. Our statement of faith. Our belief concerning the Bible. Our belief concerning God. Our belief concerning the church. Our belief concerning forgiveness of sin. Our belief, I mean, our belief concerning salvation. Our belief concerning divine healing. Our belief concerning the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Our belief concerning sanctification. And that is what we believe. Now, if you're ready to give God some praise in this house. I want you to stand to your feet along with the praise and worship team. And we're going to praise God like never before. Hallelujah. This may be our last day. Hallelujah. I don't know.
but we're going to give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, let's put our hands together and give God praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. No matter what's going on, just remember that Jehovah has the final say. And we have no reason to fear because the Lord is our life and he's our salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Yeah. Jehovah has the final say. And no matter what the doctor say, Jehovah has the final say. And no matter what the bills may say, yeah. Jehovah has the final say. I have, I have no reason to fear. I have no reason to fear. I have no reason to fear. The Lord is the Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. Oh, I have no reason. I have no reason to fear. I have no reason to fear. I have no reason to fear. The Lord is. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light. Tell me who has the final say. Jehovah has.
to tell your problems about God, huh? Because God is just that big. He's just that kind. He's just that faithful. Hallelujah. And he is Hallelujah. the old saints used to say, what a wonder about the Lord. What a wonder about him because he's so incredible. He's so awesome. He's so amazing. And you can't even encapsulate how incredible and how great God is. Sometimes you just got to wave your hand and just say, Jesus, what a wonder you are. When I think about all that you've done and all that you brought me through, all I can say is, Jesus, what a wonder you are. When I look back over my life, when I look back over 2018 and what he's brought us through, all I can say is, Jesus, what a wonder you are. And I give you glory because you did for me what nobody else could do. And I give you praise today because you did what nobody else could do. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Song says just like this. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Thank you, God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. What a wonder you are. Come on, help me say that. Jesus, 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 Jesus. What a wonder. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. What a wonder. What a wonder you are. Call the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder. What a wonder you are. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. What a wonder. What a wonder you are. Take it up. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. What a wonder. What a wonder you are. Nobody like you, Lord.
I give you glory. Because you're a wonder. What a wonder you are. Nobody like you, Lord. Nobody like you, Lord. What a wonder. You are. Oh God, I love you. I give you praise, God. What a wonder. When I think about what you've done and all that you are to be, Lord, what a wonder. What a wonder you are. I give you glory. stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop telling him how wonderful he is. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. We get to a place and we just stop. We just shut down. But God said, I'm still wonderful. I'm still merciful. I'm still kind. What a wonder, what a wonder, what a wonder he is. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. What a wonder. Hallelujah, 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 oh Jesus, hallelujah. You're so wonderful. You allowed me to sleep last night, but you allowed me to get up. Hallelujah. With the activities of my limbs. You're so wonderful that I was able, hallelujah, to see this day, hallelujah, to come into the house of worship. God, you're so wonderful that I can lift my Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody what a wonder. Like what a wonder. You. What a wonder you are. How can I come back to the same place Sunday after Sunday, Jesus. week after week, month no after month, year after year, what and not tell him how wonderful he is? Hallelujah. What a wonder. What a wonder. What a wonder you are. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. I'm trying to get you into a place, hallelujah, where you can forget about all your problems, where you can forget about all your trials and your tribulations, so you can forget about all the things that you went through, all the disappointments, hallelujah, and get your mind on the one who has set you free, hallelujah, the one that made you free. What a wonder you are. Hallelujah. As you prepare yourselves to give on today your tithe and offering, hallelujah, and your envelopes, what shall I render unto God? Hallelujah. He told us to give, hallelujah, as you're preparing to give and purpose in your heart what you should give. We're going to have recognition of our visitors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we, I did receive a, a, a visitor's card on today, but I just want you to know, here comes two more. That the visitor that we want to be here is already here. You just got to tap into him and appreciate him for visiting you on today. Hallelujah. So in our midst on today, we have three first-time visitors. Amen? Come on, put your hands together for that. And when I call your name, could you stand, hallelujah, so we can recognize you. All the way from Graceville, Florida, let's receive Jewel Peterman. Because she's standing right now, amen. 
We also have in our midst Susan Kelly from PG and Nancy Stewart from PG. Hallelujah. We thank you, hallelujah, for coming. And these are the guests of Sister Melba Walker and Deacon John Nash. Hallelujah. Amen. I know that on this great peninsula where the spirit of the Lord dwells and the, the beauty of his, his riches, we live in an area where they say Pebble Beach is one of the seven richest cities in the world. There's a, a tree that sits out in the rock by itself, and it's called the Lone Cypress. And there is a building that's planted on a hill that's called Greater Victory Temple. Hallelujah. And I thank God for Greater Victory Temple because you could have chose any other place to go to, but you chose here. This here city that's set on a hill that shines a light. So we love you on today and we show you honor. And at this time, could we just stand and just greet them? Hallelujah. As we go. Go greet somebody today. Well, Hallelujah. Greet the visitor. Hallelujah. Jesus here. Sent me Come on. Greet the, the Jesus sent you. The Jesus sent me. Hallelujah. Does the Jesus sent you. So easy. Yeah, yeah. So easy. So easy. the Jesus in you. The Jesus in me makes it so easy for me to love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. On behalf of our shepherd, Pastor Ronald Britt, and our first lady, Angela Britt, and the entire Greater Victory Temple family, we just want to thank you, visitors, for coming to worship God with us on today. And please do come again. And now, <laughs> You're in the hands of our choir. Hallelujah. Get with the choir. Because your breakthrough may come through the choir and what they sing. So give a hand praise as you receive the Greater Victory Temple Sanctuary Choir.
comes a time where you can do something for somebody else. You wasn't put on this earth just for you. You were put here for a purpose, and that's to do something for somebody else. And coming at this time, Elder Garnett is coming to pray the intercessory prayer. But I want you to stand to your feet before he gets here. I want you to praise God for somebody that's not here, that you've been praying for. Hallelujah. Praying for their victory. But you got to do something. Hallelujah. To unlock. You got to learn how to unlock the windows of heaven so he can pour you out a breath. And let's receive Elder Garnett. Glory to God. As I was sitting on my seat, I was thinking about the fifth chapter of Mark where there was a woman that had an issue of blood. And she said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. So in saying that, if I can touch it for someone else, I'm going to touch his hem for my brother. I'm going to touch his hem for my sister. I'm going to touch his hem for my father. I'm going to touch his hem for my brother. That's what I'm touching him for. It's not about me. It's about them. Hallelujah. The thing is, it, do you believe God? The question is, do you believe God? We come Sunday after Sunday in expectation. I believe God will show up every single time if you show and believe in him. Hallelujah. Grab a neighbor's hand you're close to. That's a miracle you're holding, that hand you're holding. That's a miracle. With head bowed and eyes closed. Father God in heaven, through your precious son, Jesus. Lord, we thank you this first Sunday of 2019. God, because of you, we made it over. Nothing that we did, God, is all because of you. Father, we love you and we praise you. God, we ask now that you have your way in this service. God, bless those that are in sick rooms. Bless those in hospital beds. Bless our sick brothers. Bless our sick sisters. Bless our sick mothers. Bless our sick fathers. God, you know where they're at. We hold them up before you right now, God. In the name of Jesus. God, we know you're a healer. We know you're a deliverer. You know you're a provider. God, we love you. And we praise you. We can't do anything without you. God, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Oh, God, we love you. Have your way. God, we're saying yes to your will. We're saying yes to your way. Whatever you need, God, we're saying yes. We're saying send us and we'll go. We'll obey God. Oh, God, we love you and we praise you because in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. We know that all things are possible in Jesus. Now have your way. Now put your hands together and give God some praise and believe God for it because it's already done. But call on him. Call on him. Something happens when you call him. Mention his name. Oh. Think about him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call him. Call him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
you call the name Jesus, he's got to come see about you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Something happens. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Something happens. I know you're waiting for something to happen. Stop talking. You're sitting in anticipation, waiting for something to happen. But it already happened. Ha. When you call his name, it happens. Hallelujah. Something about the name Jesus. Jesus, and now I'm well. <laughs> when I didn't have no money in my pocket, I called the name Jesus, and he put money in my pocket. Hallelujah. When I didn't have no activities of my limb, I called the name Jesus, to his house and not giving him praise. He's tired of taking care of your needs and you don't give him praise. He's tired and he said, I'm not going to put up with it this year. You've been through too much not to give him praise. profession that I'm in, some people wish they could get up, but they can't get up. I've been to funeral after funeral after funeral after funeral in this short time that I've been doing this service, and I watch people grieve, and I watch people mourn, and I watch people be sad, but we come in here thinking that this is this is this is the house of God and they that enter into the house should come in the preacher shouldn't have to preach you into worship and praise all he have to do is get up and say God is good and the you too much hallelujah and I learned something about sheep sheep are ornery and they get in their mind which way they're gonna go hallelujah and they'll go that way until the shepherd comes and corrects him and turns him into a different direction hallelujah so we're all sheep and we all get ornery but the good shepherd has come to turn us into the right direction. Huh? Huh? So if anybody want to be turned, huh? Huh? Hallelujah. Right. if you want to turn on this first Sunday in 2019, you need to praise God. And coming at this time to worship the Lord and give him. Give him your praise. Give him your substance. right now. Come on, put your hands together and bless the Lord. So put your hands together and bless the Lord. Come on, he's in this room right now. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. And he's worthy of the honor. God bless you, your hearts, and 
circle and may heaven smile upon you. So where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And God is trying to speak to his people. Amen. And, you know, Phil Jones, you're on course. Amen. What God has to say today to his people. Should have to pump and prime anybody to praise the Lord. But like Ella Field Jones said, the profession that he's in now, if they had a chance, they would wish has they had somebody to pump and prime them to praise God. What happened to enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise, and to be thankful unto him as to bless his name for the Lord is good and he alone is worthy to be praised I honor the spirit of Christ that's in this room today to all the assistant pastors to our mothers, Mother LeClaire all the good mothers and Mother Cannon amen, to all the missionaries and the deacons the ushers to my sisters and brothers and to the fragrance of this house Stand and break, give a hand, push it, if you will. <laughs> now time to worship the Lord in giving. Come on, put those sanctified hands together. Our deacon brothers are coming, Sister Webb is coming with the credit card machine and take two lines in the central aisle of the church with your tithes and your offering. And you will hear me say every year, do not come to the house of the Lord and not have something to share with the Lord. I don't care if it's what the old woman had, a mic, a penny, whatever it come, bring the Lord an offering into his house. And we should be seen giving and worshiping God. Amen. You may can't give as much as somebody else, but you can give God something. Amen. 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 I know I'm right. You want God to do something for you, and you do something for him. Amen. Bring him an offering. Bring him a sacrifice. You owe him your tithes, but you should bring him a sacrificial offering. Every praise is to our God. Every praise. Every word of worship. Of worship. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for another opportunity to bring our tithes and to bring a sacrificial offering into your house. We offer God our seed to you, multiply it, return it some 30, some 60, even 100 fold. Father, I decree the blessings of God to arrest your people. Give them an overflow, give them an increase. Prove yourself to them. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Come and give triply unto God. Every praise to our God. Every word of worship. Every word of worship. Oh, word of hope. every praise. Every praise.
contribute. Coming at this time, let's receive missionary Annette Garnett with our announcements. Come on, let's say amen as she comes.
gave all that she had. She gave it all. She gave it all. So if you are a singer, if you're a choir member, choir members, please, let's come. Amen? Amen? Amen. We're not sitting on the bench this year. We, we got to get in the game, y'all. We, we, we got, we have to. Amen. Okay, that's what you said. But we have to get in the game. We want to come and, and celebrate our sister. Amen? We want to celebrate our, her life. The Sunshine Band is selling snacks. Anybody who's following your service, please stop, stop by and support them. Um, thank you in advance from Sister Rhonda Barron, Sister Memorial Tabernacle, Church of God in Christ. Their new location, consecration, worship, celebration will be held on Tuesday, January the 8th, 2019 at 7 p.m. The address is 141. Guest speaker will be our bishop, Bishop N.A. Bullock. And then on tomorrow night, the Monterey District Choir will rehearse uh, tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. All choir members, we are looking for you to be in rehearsal tomorrow. The, the uh, State Choir will be singing throughout the leadership conference, and we need your help. Amen? Amen. These are the announcements. It's now time for the word of God. Would you all stand to your feet and receive the man for the hour? <clears throat> Raise your right hand and receive Pastor Ronald Britt. Hallelujah. I give myself away. Oh, Lord, I give myself away so you can use me. Help me. I give myself away. Oh, Lord, I give myself away so you, so you can use me. Here I am. Can you tell it my life? My life is not my own. To you, to I, you belong. I belong. I give myself. I give myself. I give myself. Come on, tell it again. My life is not my own.
name of thy son, Jesus Christ, stand behind this sacred desk for his Sunday of 2019 to give you praise, to give you glory, to give you honor. Father, I yield myself to you to use this body of clay for your glory, your honor, and your praise. Send your word in power, send it in anointing, for the anointed destroys the yoke, set captives free. Let us hear from heaven, let us hear from you today. Give us a receptive heart, a receptive mind today to receive what thus says the Lord. Father, we'll take no glory, we'll take no honor, we'll take no praise, we'll take no credit, but it all belongs to you. What is in thy son, Jesus the Christ's name we pray. Thank God and, and amen. Give the Lord a hand and praise as you take a seat in the presence of the Lord. I do honor the spirit of Christ that's in this room today. Thank God for his goodness, his loving kindness, and his tender mercy towards all of us. God has been good to us. And he alone is worthy of the praise, the glory, and the honor. Amen. It's so good to see Brother E.J. Rowland in the house today. Bless you, young man. We love you and appreciate you. We thank God for what he's doing in you and through you. And he has more for you. Amen. Amen. And it's good to have my personal doctor. I love with all my heart, my dear daughter, Dr. Nicole Sim. Amen. Uh, she came to visit, but she had the doctor on her dad while since she been here. Amen. Amen. And uh, I'm feeling better. Amen. But I want to say to the people of God, if you have a cold or flu, get better. Don't overdo it, and I understand if you stay home, but you don't need to spread it. Amen. And because uh, this illness can take you out. Amen. And I believe I said a week or so ago, I thought I was almost out of here. Amen. But God has more for me to do. Amen. And there's a word from God today. Amen. I'm, I'm doing a whole lot better. I just a little tip every now and then that will cause me to call. So don't be alerted by that. I'm going to speak the word of God today. I'd had Brother Garnett on standby, just in case, but the Lord has a word for his people today, for the household of faith good to see the people of God. Happy New Year to you. Pray the blessing of God be upon you this coming year. Now let me say that the arrangement of Missionary Case on is still pending, but the service will be on the 19th. It will be on the 19th. And Missionary Case on will get with us this week on the time, but it will be on the 19th. Amen. Let's continue to pray for Brother James and the children and Mother Steele. Amen. And for us, for we all have been touched. Amen. By the passing of Missionary Pat Kaysa. Amen. He has been of all of us. Amen. Let's see what the Lord would say unto the people of the Lord. It is found in Daniel, the third chapter. I believe I will begin at verse 10, 10 through 18. Then we will conclude with 1 Peter 4, verses 12 and 13. Daniel, the third chapter, beginning at verse 10. This is the word of the Lord unto the people 
of the Lord. Now, o king has made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, satchel, psaltery, and decimal, and all kind of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worship, that he should be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of thy province, of Babylon, Shachrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they brought these men before the king. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Is it true? Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my God? Lord, worship the golden image which I have set up. Now if ye be ready that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sacrament, psaltery, and decimal, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, you shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace. And he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy God, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. First Kings chapter four. First Peter, I'm sorry, chapter four, verses twelve and thirteen. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try ye, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. May God have a blessing to the reason hears of his divine word. Talk to you as brief as the Lord would allow this afternoon. I'm being tested, but I will not bow. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we are being tested, but we will not bow. I'm being tested in ownership. Whatever come my way, I will not bow. Thanks to God, we are living in the day and time where as a child of God, we must stand against the trickeries of the devil. The devil and his imps are doing everything they 
and to get us to bow to his evil ways. Is there anyone in the house today who has been, who has ever been in a situation that seemed impossible to get out of? But now I'm talking about the kind where the more you try to get away from it, the more you try to shake it off, it'll sell, the more that thing wouldn't let you go. Am I talking to anybody? <coughs> By chance, is, is there anyone here who have found themselves surrounded by circumstance that seemed like they was going to take you out. I wonder, Brother Man, and how did you respond? Did you take a back seat? Did, did you give in? Did, did you bow in? God, that we all must admit we, 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 my sisters and brothers, there are some battles we have won, and there are some battles we have lost because we gave in, and Brother Kennedy, and we gave up too soon. God help me preach this thing. I know today that there are some in this sanctuary this very day that are going through some fires in your life. Oh, you can't tell nobody about it, but there are some fires that's going on in your lives. And these fires, Ella Jones, may be coming from different directions problems after problem. No money, a little money in the bank. Not enough food in your cupboard. Oh, help me preach God. Lights and water can be shut off any moment. Oh, you, you're sitting in the sanctuary. You look good and you don't want nobody to know your business, but at any moment your lights, your water, could be shut off. God help me preach this thing. I, 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 some of us can say, but preacher, I don't like in whom I have become. My family life is all messed up. So much is going on, preacher, and I feel like I'm all by myself. Who am I talking to today? Sometimes we are around people, but we yet feel like we're all by ourselves. God, help me preach this thing today. Glory to God. You are dressed up for the end pain. People come to church in pain. Ah, you're dressed to kill today, but you are hurting on the inside smiling to keep from crying. You wave your hands and praise because you don't want somebody to see what's going on on the inside. Can I preach today? Glory to God. You're dressed up, but you're walking around discouraged. And there seems to be, missionary cell, no solution for your issue. God help me preach. People, God, hear, hear the word of God today. Beloved, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you. Although some strange thing, thing happened unto you. People, God, hear me today. This has become a great problem in the church world today. 
Sister Nash, nobody. No one wants to go through anything. In and out of the church, we don't want to go through any situation. But the Bible said, thank it not strange concerning testing that the very enemy of your soul, the one who's walking to and fro, seeking whom he may devour, he's walking this earth, he's walking around the church to make you bow to his evil devices. Deacon Brown, sometimes we forget what Jesus went through for us. The Bible alerts us in the holy words of God. 1 Peter 4 and 1. For as much then, hear me today, for as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, yourself likewise with the same mind. Can I read that again? For as much then as our Lord, our Savior, Jesus the Christ that was talked about, lied upon, nails in his hand, nails in his feet, crucified for you and I, suffered for you and I in the flesh. The Bible said, on yourself. Get yourself together. Put on the whole armor of God because you are going to be tested. Glory to the Lamb of God. Mr. Frederick Jones, the problem is <laughs> we don't have or want the mind of Christ. We want Christ but we don't want the mind of Christ. Can I preach today? It's true, Brother Manning. We don't want to suffer. But the Bible said, for as much as Christ has suffered, arm, you're going to suffer. Arm yourself likewise. Preacher, Gave my life to Jesus years ago. But nobody told me that the road would be easy. But McClare, in spite of what's going on, I don't believe he brought me this far to leave me. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to suffer. You got to go through and not bow to the devil. Give the Lord a hand praise right there. <laughs> Glory to God. I'm here to say today, create a victory. I'm being tested, but I will not bow. You got to be able to own it up to you. Say, I'm being tested, but I will not bow to the works of the enemy. And so God, the Bible never suggested that we, at children of God, would have it easy. The Bible tells us that we would find ourselves in various temptations. Dear friend, don't be bewildered or surprised. Don't bow when you go through the fiery trial that's with your it's ahead. But this is no strange on you to pain to the people of God. It's going to happen. Glory to the Lamb of God. People of God, hear me today. Don't get mad, but hear the word of God today. One of the problems is when we fail, is when we fail. To read the Bible for ourselves. <coughs> God help me preach this right here. The problem is 
We don't know what we ought to know. We, 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 we give our lives to Jesus, and we think that's all that we need to do. We fail to read the Bible for ourselves. We fail to attend Sunday school. We fail to come to Bible study. Oh, I got scripture in a minute. We fail to understand what the Word of God tells us about our walk with God. We find ourselves, Mother Brown, taken by surprise when we are attacked by the devil and his imp. The Bible says, here's that scripture. The Bible says in the book of Hosea 4 and 6, <laughs> my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge. This is not Brother Britt. This is the word of God. My people, you're, 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 you're bowed if you don't know the word of God. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge. How do I reject knowledge? I come to church. But do you read your Bible? Sunday, hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me today. Sunday is not the only time that we should hear the Word of God. See, I, 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 in Sunday school, you can ask questions. Now, y'all can't stop me and, and, and say, Brad, Brad, what you mean right there? I, I'm preaching now. But when there's a teaching going on in Bible study, in Sunday school, whatever question you may have, you can raise your hands, and that's the teacher, the preacher, or whoever. What does that really mean? But we reject, we reject knowledge by failing to do these things. I know, I hear you. Oh, God help me. You can go to work. I know you want to rest on Sundays and Saturdays, but you, you don't take time. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. You'll learn the policies and procedures. Oh, God, it ain't in my note. You'll learn that on your, for your job. But the Bible, the basic instruction before leaving this earth, you fail to open up. God, help me preach this thing today. You fail to get an understanding, I feel like preaching. You fail to understand what does say the Lord concerning me. You reject knowledge. They refuse <laughs> to open up the Bible. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost had me to Google this morning. Sister Amanda, so you can Google and you youth that follow the preacher, there's nothing wrong with following me. Correct me when I'm wrong. I Googled Ella Jones this morning. What is the percentage of saints, Christians, read their Bible for the E.J. Daily? 80% of church goers do not read their Bible daily. Google it. I Googled it this morning. Out of 100 people in this room, only 20 may read their Bible daily. But you want to go to heaven. Help me, Holy Ghost. You want to live right, but here is our road map to heaven. The greatest book in the world we refuse to read. We'll read whatever you read. I read Christian stuff, I'm just telling you. In seminary, they tell us to read everything so you'll know. And most of the time, I'm in my Bible or reading notes, commentaries, that I would get, be able to give you what thus said the law. But Dexter is, is sad. 
It's sad that we don't know this Bible. How to get to heaven. It's not about speaking in tongues. It's not about running around the church. But it's about loving one another. Unconditional love. With love and kindness have I drawn thee, said. If you love, you don't have time to criticize. Can I preach today? If you are loving like God, you don't have time to sit in judgment because when you love, you look past somebody's fault. You look past somebody's situation and you love them in spite of. Love is an action word. But we'll say we love you and see you in, in, in trouble. It won't help you. God's going to bless you. No. God sent you to bless me. God sent me to bless you. When we, we, that's the way the kingdom of God is going to be built. We're passed by people. God loves you. No, no, he, he loves them. But you ought to love them and show some action. God help me preach this thing today. But the enemy, the enemy bring these gift trips. And, and, and causes us not to do what God has commanded us to do. But we rather, Mother Dickens, we rather not pick up this Bible. We rather bow. We rather, Sister Janice, have a pity party. Oh, God. Oh, we rather sit back and complain and do nothing. Let me say that again. We rather sit in the church, sit back on the bench that you need to be in the game and complain. Well, if I was doing it, I'd do it this way. Well, get up and do something. We're loud. We're loud. We're loud. The enemy call us to get the spirit of complaining. That's, that's scripture for that because the children of Israel, they complained and God had to, God had to do something with them. You, you, you keep on complaining. I, I heard, I heard, it may be in my notes, but I heard Ella Field Jones say, God is, is, is not going to put up with our shenanigans. Let me say this, and I'm going to move on. I'm gonna try to come down and close this thing. I got a lot, long way to go. There's going to come a time. Thank you, Holy Ghost. There's going to come a time, my sisters and my brothers, young people, there's going to come a time that we're not going to have the Bible. Yes, we live in the United States of America. It is free religion. But there's going to come a time when the enemy is going to raise his ugly head. And the way things are going on in government, they can take our Bible away anytime. David told us, thy word have I hidden in my heart. Oh, God, preach, you better preach. The word of God, I, I, I didn't just read it, but I studied it. I just didn't read it, but I hid it in my heart. I, that I would know what to say. I would know what to do when the time of testing comes. Thy word. Have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin again, that I might not bow when, when the test and the trial, the heavy load of this world is on my shoulder. I can say, devil, get thee behind me. See, some of y'all didn't know that was in the Bible. Yeah, 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 yeah you did. You, you heard it, but you never read it for yourself. Oh, God, help me today. I'm not fussing, I'm trying to get us somewhere. It's, in, it's, it's important. <sighs> it's important to know the Bible. I'm glad. I'm glad that our young people, plus Sister Amanda, have confessed to me, Pastor, 
I Google some stuff you say, which is good. Which is good. If you're on your phone, if you got to be on your phone, Google and say, is this true? One thing I do, Mother Canna, I don't want to get up here and not know the Word of God. I don't want to get somebody else's message. I want to get an understanding from God. My prayer, God, open up the revelation knowledge, the riches of your word unto me, that I may give to your people. We discussed it in Sunday school. If I compromise the gospel, your blood will be on my hand. I don't want your blood on my hand. Let me say this. Uh, someone said to me, and they know they're here, and they didn't mean it the way they said it. But someone said to me uh, a few Sundays ago, I said, Pastor, I thought you was going to beat us up. I thought you was beating us up today. Somebody, thank you, Holy Ghost. Somebody go to 2 Timothy, the third chapter. I, this is not in my notes. I, I just want to help the body of Christ out because I, I have a calling on my life can't please man and, and, and sometimes get the scripture I averted him second Corinthians no no second Timothy the third chapter uh, uh, I believe it's the 16th and, 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 and 17th verse who have it up here who, uh, come on Phil read that now all scriptures some scriptures all scriptures. The one that's going to make me feel good all scriptures all scriptures is given by brother Brick Come on, Inspiration read. of God. Ella Sales. Inspiration of God. What did Jones say? Inspiration of God. All scriptures are given inspiration from the divine Father Himself. Read. And it's profitable. It's profitable. That means that it's valuable. For Come doctrine. On. For doctrine. For your for your sake. Keep, keep reading. For reproof. Oh. That word, reproof, look it up, sister teacher. Rap of man. Y'all get mad. No, 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 no. Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> the unsaved get mad, Brother Manning, when the word of God finds them. And they said, Pastor, you was hard on us. What that reproof get is rap of man. Mm -hmm. Reprimand is not easy. Keep reading. For correction. If you're going wrong, I got to correct you. <laughs> Write that scripture down. I, I know it's more than this, right? I just. Write it down, because y'all don't believe me. I never come to church aiming at somebody. But if the word of God find you, why you get mad? Just get right. That's all it takes. That's the word of God. Now, if you're going to get mad, don't get mad with me. Get mad with God. You say you want to go to heaven. He said the man of God, the word of God is for reproof, for correction. Read one more. Keep reading. For instruction in oh, righteousness. if I don't give you instruction, did somebody mention we're sheep today? Yes. Uh, yeah. Sheep. Y'all don't like to hear it, but not only honor it, but they, they're dumb. Y'all don't hear it. I ain't calling they're them dumb. dumb. Yes, sir. Talk to Jesus when you get to heaven. He compared us to sheep. Sheep will go doing what they want to do, but they need a shepherd. They need somebody when they're going wrong, Brother Smith, to get the rod and bring them back in. Yeah. Ah, you get mad when, when the word of God finds you. The Bible says just get right. Repent. You can't take fire in your bosom and not be burned. Let me close this thing. Let me preach this next Sunday. Thanks of God. One thing I told God, 
I will not compromise your word for anyone. And let me tell you this. If I know something, I'm going to correct you. Correct you. This year, as that Lucille Jones said, that's just confirmation. But what God told me, you're going to be tested. It's going to cost you something this year. If you claim to be a child of God, it's going to cost you. But you can't bow. You can't give up. You can't give in. Think it not strange. It's going to we are not exempt. Thank you, Holy Ghost. And going through trials and going through whatever we go through, God is building character. Oh, God, help me preach this. God is trying to make you to become what he intends for you to be. Told Deacon Southall this morning, Sometimes, when we're going through, it's not for you, but it's for somebody else. They're watching you. Oh, God, thank you. How do you sanctify folks? How do you think other denominations start coming to the Pentecostal church because they saw something different? Not only did they see something, but they had a different sign. They saw what God was doing through and in his people. We wasn't bowed. We wasn't allowing <laughs> every and anything in the church. I'm going to close this. I got this pace. I'm going to tell you something, Greater Victory. God told me. He said, Britt, I can trust you. But this year is going to get harder for you. I'm going to test you this year. But whatever you do, don't bow. The thing we allow for James Smith great young man was preaching this morning in Sunday school. I said, James, you are all in my message. That thing that we allow in the church that ought not to be sometimes. And as a shepherd, God has dealt with me. Let me just share some things with you. This is the house of God. And I cannot no longer afford to allow us to desecrate the house of God. They dedicated this building. And they say it is the law, and I believe the Lord dwells here. But we cannot desecrate the house of God. What are some ways we have desecrated the house of God? That's why you're here in the business meeting. I want to know everything. I want to know when there are servers here because you don't know, like to play videos and they like to play worldly songs. I'm not any longer. I cannot allow the house of God to be desecrated. This is what God told me. Get mad with God. I am not going to let your blood be on my hand. There are certain wedding songs that's okay, but there are some wedding songs that doesn't belong in this church. God holds me accountable. We can no longer afford to desecrate the house. When we desecrate, we bow into the devil. Thank you, Holy Ghost. A few weeks ago, Brother Nash and I and some of the people with the second service meeting, 
And we had a season of prayer. I'm done. And Superintendent Paul Bates got up and began to talk. He said, let me tell you something, church. There was a difference between holy and unholy. There was a standard that this church once had. But we compromised. We bowed. I'm not against any denomination. But what he was saying, I was going at, holiness didn't allow smoking. Holiness did not allow drinking. Holiness did not allow cursing. Oh, God, thank you. If I got scripture now. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. No, oh, that's another scripture. Your, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. He is, the Holy Ghost is not going to dwell in an unclean temple. So uh, just, let me just give you some lessons. You can ask, raise your hand and ask a question now. I, I, I'm teaching now. If you're in Christ, that old nature must die daily. Let me help you out. You may get saved today. You may have a pack of cigarettes in your pocket. You may go home and smoke one. But I guarantee you get sick. And you wouldn't want to smoke that cigarette again. He takes the very taste away. I don't care what denomination, I don't know what Bible they have that allow you to smoke, drink, carouse. I, I don't know, but that was a standard. I, I, I'm preaching church to God in Christ. I'm teaching Pentecostal. That was a standard in the holiness church that we once had that God was operating. This mother cannot, this why he said, Brick, you cannot allow the church to be desecrated because I want to do miracles in my house. And if my house is desecrated, I am not there. Y'all can sing all the amazing grace you want to sing. Y'all can do all the shouting music you want to do, but I am not there. There is a difference, my people. I can't compromise. I can't compromise. I can't let you shack up. That's the word of God. I don't care. Okay, thank you, Holy Ghost. He told me to explain something. Man was made for woman. Woman was made for man. There's an automatic attraction there. How, let me use it. How can, oh God help me. How can I allow you to rent me a room? Wait in the midnight hour when, when this flesh goes to talking. See, y'all don't believe this gospel. It's going to talk. I don't care how you look. It's a natural attraction given by God. Uh, let me say this, this scripture. You cannot put fire in your bosom and not be burned. You can't keep playing with God and playing fussy with the devil. Somebody's going to creep. I don't care how much God you got. I don't care how much you speak in tongue. It's going, that test is going to come up. But I'm, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. There's a scripture, Elder God, that 
Let, <laughs> you may say, I ain't doing that. Let not your good, oh God, is that Bible? Let not your good be even spoken of. Sure, the very appearance. Oh, oh God, you're taking me too deep in the water today. Oh. Sean, the very appearance of evil. It may be right in your eyes, but it may cause somebody else to stumble. Oh, God. Oh, I don't want to cause anybody to fall. I don't want to cause anybody to give up on God because of my behavior. Preach bread, I believe I will. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to finish this. I got three or four messages I got to finish. Saints, saints and ain't. I'm serious. I'm not playing this year. I'm calling you out. I'm not playing. Because somebody can't get saved because of your foolishness. Because you want to give into the flesh. You want to bow. Every one of us, from the least to the greatest, I am your pastor, but I'm being tested. Mother, you're 96, I believe. 95. Been in the church a long time. Whether y'all believe it or not, mother is yet being tested. For each day, we can't bow. If we name the name of Jesus, we cannot afford to bow. We cannot afford to give in, to throw in the towel. I don't care. I want you to know this. Somebody is watching your life. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, besides me, somebody is watching you. I'm really finished. But Jerry, we can't bow. We may bend, but we can't bow. Now let me just close this so you seminarians said that he didn't deal with this text. No, that's taught in seminary. You ain't preaching if you don't deal with the text. I just gotta deal with just a little bit. Y'all know the story. The three Hebrew boys was Jewish men. They called them boys, but they was men. And I will tell you some other time what their name really meant. But they trusted in our heavenly Father. They had faith in our heavenly Father. So the old wicked king beside them or build an image held the musicians to come and play. And whoever refused to bow, to bow and worship my gods and the golden image, I'm going to put them in the fiery furnace. This is the text. So the first time it happened, Deacon Jack, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, After done all to stand, they will stand. Man, if you don't bow, you won't die. Man, if you don't bow, the king is going to get you. That's the same stuff the devil tells us. It's all right. Nobody's going to know, but just me and you. And we give in. But these men that God is calling us to be like, the king sent for them. Oh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is, is this true? That when the music comes, you don't fall down and worship the golden image. You don't worship my God. 
They said, King, <laughs> let me just say it this way. King, oh, King, we are not going to serve your gods or the golden image that you put up. And this is where faith kick in. I got some faith stuff in there. We, we, we'll deal with that. They said, King, the God we serve is able to deliver us. In other words, the Jones said, if it's his will. See, that's the problem. We, we, we don't pray what your will concerning me, God. We just want to be out of it. If it's your will, if it's his will, he will deliver us. But, King, take this to the bank and deposit it in case he doesn't deliver us, he's yet able. Because we got faith, we got trust in our God. Y'all know the end of the story? What you saying to the church, Brother Rick? God is saying, y'all say I'm your Lord. You say I'm your Savior. You say I quicken you every now and then. But where's your faith? When the trial, when the test comes, where is your faith? We got to stop giving up. We got to stop giving in. I gave you the scripture, first John, first Timothy, first Peter. 13 is with them. Think it not strange. The problem, and I'm, I'm going to quit for real, Deacon Joe. I can hold those kids feet. The problem, the problem, sometimes it's, 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 it's my fault. But then most of the time it's your fault. And the reason why I say that, I can go all the way back when I first got saved. A lot of times, they didn't teach us how to live right. They, they didn't. They didn't have class. So now that you're saved, this is what you do. They said, come on back. God got more for you. And they, 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 they left it up to the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and we override him. They left it up to the Holy Ghost because he'll teach and bring things back to your remembrance. But I am required by God to open up this Bible and to teach the Word of God. You are required to be in Sunday school. You're required to be in Bible study. I don't care what the lesson may be on. Pastor, I got a question. It doesn't have nothing to do with this lesson. But I need to ask. I'm going through this. How do I get out of this? See, this is what Bible study is uh, about. It's, it's not boring. It's only boring because you don't want to learn. But if you want to know how to live a victorious life, by, uh, Bible study is for you. I'm not, I, I, I can't force you to come. I'm just telling you what, what I need to tell you, okay? You, can, you, can, you, you choose. God don't force you to do anything. I'm not going to force you to do anything. But I enjoy, I know they used to talk about to me in class, but I enjoy being in with these senior guys, we have fun, and the word of God is rich. These, these, these gentlemen, they, they know the word, and then they let that young captain teach. That boy got some word in him. He bad. Y'all need to hear James. I'm telling you. And so what I'm saying is that I can make is available to you. But if you're too busy bowing to the flesh, I'm trying to quit, y'all. I'm trying to quit. The problem is we bow to the flesh. I understand work. I understand tired. I understand if you can't be here every Wednesday, but at least one or two Wednesdays out of the month, you ought to show up for Bible study. I'm not saying, okay, thank you, Lord. Okay, let me say it this way. Let me say it this way. Be real nice. Payday for the body of Christ 
is coming after a while. What do you mean, real preacher? I can go to the man, child. I can be on time. I'm going to work my 40 hours or whatever hours, and overtime, whatever I need to work. But Jerry, if I'm late all the time, they're going to call me in the office. Give me some warnings. I continue to be late. They can say, uh, it's obvious you don't want to work here. And they give you ink slip. Then you run to God, oh, God, I lost my job. So you ain't faith with the church. Y'all don't believe this gospel. It's going to cost you something this year. If, if, I, I know, I'm human too. And y'all say, Brother Rich, you don't retire. I retired. And I tell y'all, I still go to Santa Clara County to work. Every now and then, so the brick gets mad. And sometimes I just have to get away. And sometimes I be getting away to Santa Clara to clear my mind. And I'm not working hard. I'm sitting there watching, not inmates, I'm watching contractors work. But I'm able to clear my mind. Because church work is very stressful as a leader. When you got all kind of fiery, dark, because some of you are mad with me now. I care. I'm not going to say I don't care. I care. I care for you, soul. I cannot let you sit up in church and go to hell through the church. I want it said when you get there. On the first Sunday in 2019, did not pre Preacher Britt preach this word? Let me tell you, it's going to happen just like that. Because you're going to say, well, God, I did this and I was there. But then Brother Britt preach about this and preach about that, and you sat there mad instead of getting right? Oh, yeah. Brother EJ, it's going to happen. We're going to stand before God, and we got to give an account for every deed, for everything we've done. Even when you look cross-eyed at me. He's going to bring it to your... Come to the Bible, so I'm going to start teaching that. It's, it's in the book. I'm not making up anything. I'm not, I'm not saying anything I heard. It's in the book. He's, we, you got to stand before you go to hell. You ain't going straight to hell. Before you go to hell, you're going to stand before the righteous judge. And then you're going to be sentenced. That's book. Mother McLean, that, is that the Bible? That is the Bible. You're going to give an account. Some people say, no, you're going straight to hell. No. You're going to stand. Oh, we just had that Sunday school lesson. He's going to separate the, the goats from the sheep. You're going to be right there. Bah. Well, I want to be a sheep. When he called me up here, I want to hear him say, well done. Rich, you found yourself in, in some very things that I wanted you to do, and you did it. Because you weren't afraid of their faces. Your soul is very important to God. And as the shepherd, as long as I am the shepherd, your soul is very important to me. In his last two or three words, I promise you, I promise you. This year, I'm not going to sit back just allow it to happen. This year, I'm not going to sit back. Hear this, and you tell it to those that's not here. I'm not going to sit back and allow it just to happen. When God said correct, I'm going to correct it. No, I'm not Bishop Martin. No, I'm not Bishop Hamilton. Whatever way that he gives me to direct, to correct it, I'm going to correct it. If it's moving you out of position to get you straight and give it back to you, it's going to be. Because your blood 
ke Nabi on my head. We've been tested. Every one of us, whether you save or not, you've been tested. But whatever you do, please, pretty please, don't bow to the enemy. Don't serve but a God. If you take giving up the TV for a while, give it up. Sell yourself. We feed, I'm trying to quit y'all. We feed this clay body three, at least three times. At least. And some snacks. This is the food for the spiritual man. Only maybe 20% of Christians read their Bible daily. If you read your Bible, you'll be able to follow me and quote. If I say one word, you know where I'm going. Because the word will be in you. It's only when you don't know the word it causes you to get mad at who he thinks he is. I'm a person that studied the word of God. I'm a person that's accountable to God. And if you're a member of this church, your blood would not be on my hand. Let me say it one more time, and I'm going to quit. Holy Ghost, let me quit. If you're a member of Greater Victory Temple Church of God in Christ, 1620 Broadway Avenue, I am the shepherd. I've been commanded by God to teach his holy word. Whether you like it or not, your blood would not be on Brit's hands. I'm going to preach the truth. Nothing but the truth will help me God. Every preacher, every missionary, you're free to preach the truth. Nothing but the truth will help you, God. The Word of God is not to make us feel good, but to make us line up with the Word of God. That's all it is. And because of the sinful nature, we rebel. Because of the sinful nature, am I in the book? We, we rebel. This flesh would take you to hell. Okay, how long you been in the church? Even as your shepherd, you ought to pray for your shepherd. I, the enemy would try to destroy me. Just to say, <laughs> see, he wasn't all that. But I'm here to say to the devil, bring it on. Pray it on. That's what we got to do. Look the devil in his face. Say, bring it on. But I will not bow. I know in whom I believe. I know in whom I trust. And it's not your wish, daddy. Glory to the Lamb of God. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I'm being tested. But I will not bow. That's the word of God. Don't bow. We make mistakes. We fall down. But we get up. Brush ourselves off. We say, God, I made a mistake. I erred. But I have not worshipped the God, the image. I worship the true living God. But he said, if you confess, your sin. I am faithful and I'm just to forgive you of your sin and to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. We have no heaven or the hell to put you in. You can make this choice. We have an advocate with right now, right now, Jesus is at the right hand of the Father. Say, Lord, Give them another chance. Show them 
for the are. And then you have that right. You have that choice. The Lord, I failed you. I failed you in 2018. Brother Martin used to have a saying when she testified, former first of this church. I think her ending was, pray that I fail, not God. I, 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 you know, I was a young Christian when I got here, but I understood what she said. We're going to be tested, but pray that I fail. See, the saints pray that I fail, not God. She sleeps in her grave today, but that stuck with me. Pray. You know, they used to testify, pray that I fail, not God. I don't want to fail. I don't want to fail the test. But even if you fail, Fail. He's the kind of let you retest. Oh God, I'm trying to quit. He'll, he, 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 since the man you're a teacher, sometimes you have to retest because you want to do better. Sometimes, Janice, we, we failed the test. Now, God didn't say it's an open book test, and we failed. He said, you didn't pass this time, but I, I, I thank you. I give you another chance. That's the God we serve. Father, bow your heads. <laughs> Father, thank you. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace towards your people. And I believe I've done all you told me to do. I believe I said everything you told me to say. Thank you, God, for giving me the strength to decree and declare your divine word in this house. And Father, I pray for all of us, wherever we found, and this word has found us short today. Forgive us, Father. Make up the shortage. Restore us, renew us, revive us, revitalize us. Call us to stand in the face of opposition, in the face of the devil, and tell the devil, bring it on, I will not bow. I know in whom I believe. My faith, my trust is in the almighty God. Father, we thank you for this word today. Father, I thank you for this word today. This word found me today. I would not desecrate your house. I would not bow before the enemy. But help us all to stand, to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the works of the Lord, that we know that our labor is not in vain in the Lord the pulpit to the back door I decree your blessings upon your people pray for my enemies I pray for those that dislike this word do not let this word leave from them but trouble their hearts and trouble their mind until a spirit of repentance a spirit of humility would take control of their life. Say that I bind you today. I bind the spirit that's in them that's not like God. You will not destroy them. You will not call them to bow any longer. By the power of God invested in me, take your nasty hands off of them right now. The blood of Jesus covers them now. The love of God lift them now above their circumstances, above their situation. Sometimes we find ourselves in situations we don't know how we're going to get out. But God, you said in all thy ways, we acknowledge you. You'll direct our path. You'll tell us and you'll show us how to get out of it. This I pray. In Jesus, the Christ name. Jesus, the anointed one. 
that destroys the yokes that keeps us bound. In his precious name I pray. Thank God and amen. Clap your hands and praise the Lord, everyone. Look at your neighbors and neighbor. We're being tested. But whatever you do, don't you dare bow. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. You may be seated. Just before they get the communion table, I'm so happy, so honored to give my friend, my sister who have attended this church for a long time. She'd already been paying her tithes and offering. So she said last Sunday, Pastor, I'm coming off the bench. I'm joining the church next Sunday. Put your hands together for Sister Melba Walker. Come on, we ought to show us some love. Very faithful. Always, I, I don't try. She's, she's been doing it already. Amen. I love her. I love her spirit. It's just a joy be able to give her the right hand of fellowship. And maybe somebody else want to join this ministry that's going somewhere in the Lord. That's you. You can come. Amen. Come on, sister. Sister Walker. She's my friend. Love her. Appreciate her. She drives all the way from Greenfield? No. Selena's. Okay. Okay. I know she might have she drove a long way, but Selena's. Amen. But I'm so glad that God touched your heart to be a member of this church to help me advance the kingdom of God. And I always bring the first lady down because as the shepherd and as the first lady, I want to be the first to welcome you. But I stand to you the right hand of fellowship as a member of Greater Victory Temple Church of God in Christ in good stand. You've already been paying your tithes. You've already been giving your all. Keep praying with us, loving on us. And if there's anything that we can do to help you not to bow and to advance the kingdom of God, we are here for you. Welcome as a member of this church. Come on, ladies, come on and welcome her. everyone. Come on, clap your hands and praise God. Thank God. God added to the church those such as should be saved. Uh, as soon as they get the table, you know, Jones is going to do communion from start to finish today. Be patient. But when it's finished, I have to receive an offering and I have an announcement. So I stayed meeting this week. We have failed to take our state mother and our bishop offering. 
we need to do that real quick, amen, after Holy Communion. You're now in the hands of Ellisville Jones, and from time to time, I'm going to be doing this, that all the preachers know exactly what to do in case I'm out and I can't do it, amen. So give him a hand raise as he come to lead us in Holy Communion. Hallelujah. For I received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus the same night which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do ye in remembrance of me. And after that same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, This is the cup of the New Testament in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh judgment to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. And for this cause, many are sickly among you, and many sleep. So take a moment right now to examine yourself and see if you're worthy to take and partake of the broken body and the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Take that moment right now. Now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, bless these oracles that we shall use on today in commemoration of your shed blood and your broken body. Bless all those who shall serve on today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank God. Amen. Deacon Brothers, you're now coming.
On that awful night, the Lord was betrayed. And after he had prayed and gave thanks, he taught his disciples to do the same. And he said, this is my broken body, broken just for you. Do it in remembrance of me, the broken body of Jesus Christ. Take it in. After that same manner, he took the cup and he said, this is my blood sealed just for you. Take this blood that shall never lose its power. It will reach to the highest mountain and flow to the lowest valley. The blood of Jesus Christ, drink ye all of it. Thank you, Father, for this shed blood in your broken body that we may remember to do your will. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are coming to the Lord's table on today. Deacon Dickens and Deacon Jack Jones will serve those who cannot walk. But we're coming to the Lord's table. Those who are in the outside section, could you now stand and follow the direction of the ushers? Our reader on today will be missionary Regina Richmond. You're now coming. You have believed our report whom is the arm of the Lord revealed to thee? For he shall go up before him as a tender plant, and as a root and out of dry ground. He has no form nor comeliness, and when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow, and acquainted with grief, and be hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our grief, and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him.
stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he not opened his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before his shears. is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of our land of the living for the transgression of my people and he stricken and was stricken and he made his grave unto the wicked and with the rich and in his death because he had done no violence neither was there any deceit in his mouth yet it pleased the lord to bruise him he hath put him to grief when thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin Sinner section you are now standing he shall see his seed, he shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Shall my righteous servant justify many, for he shall bear their iniquity. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide the spoil with the strong, because he has poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bared the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. And Jesus, going up to Jerusalem, took the twelve disciples apart in the way, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to scourge and to crucify him. And the third day he shall arise again. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee, children with her sons worshiping him, and desired certain things of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? And she said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit on the right hand and the other on the left in the kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are we able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of and to be baptized with the baptism I am that I am with you? They said unto him, We are able. And he said unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized and with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give, but she shall be given to them for whom it is repaired of my father. When the ten heard it, they moved with indignation against the two brethren. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and that they are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever be shall be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to the minister unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many.
because we didn't bow down, we have the right to the tree of life. You're now back into the hands of our pastor. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Thank you, Elder Jones. I'll stand in jaw. Give him a hand, praise. Amen. Let me do this real quick. We need to take the offering for our state mother and our bishop. The only public offering that you're obligated to give that's on Wednesday night. But the official offering Thursday and Friday night will be given now. So I don't know what it offer they, they may ask, but I'm asking us to let's give an, an offer to take care of our state mother and our bishop. And that meeting will convene here on Wednesday morning, and I believe it's at 10 a.m. There will be classes our bishop will be teaching, and we're asked to be here in the daytime. Our deacon brothers will be bringing the tables of young deacons. Um, just the way of you to bring the credit card machine. Our deacons will be in the kitchen frying fish and chicken and whatever trimmings that they're going to have, and they need our help. So I got to do two things here today. <coughs> if you don't have your offering today, make sure you see Sister Well. Or Sister Nash before Thursday and Friday. So it would be a blessing to our bishop. And I'm asking you all to please, ma'am, and please, sir, and then do me an envelope. Uh, please, ma'am, and please, sir, try to attend our state leadership. Um, Wednesday night preacher will be a Pastor Reynolds, not Superintendent Reynolds, but Pastor Reynolds. Thursday night, or Thursday day, I'm not sure. I think our state mother's not preaching this. Uh, the new missionaries, missionary Anderson from Rice Temple. But Thursday night, when the men take back over, our own first leader of the district will be the speaker, missionary Mary Grace Jones, will be speaking on Thursday night. And then Friday night, our bishop will be speaking in Preachers is in class B on Friday night. Women in black on Friday night. Amen. Let's come from where you are and let's give an offering for our state bishop and our state mother. Make it out the greater victory. Make it. I can't hear you. I think it's 35 for the missionary, but whatever what we're going to do, we're going to make it up. Just, just give what you have. Give what you can. And if you don't have it tonight, please, it's not just for the missionaries and the preachers, it's for every member of the church. Uh, we owe our leaders an offering. Amen. Thank you so much. You're so kind. Come from where you are. You can see many people move up there. If you can't get what you don't have. But if you have it by Thursday or Friday, please see Sister Nash or Sister Webb that we will be represented here at Greater Victory Temple. Go ahead, Brother Terrence, you can hold it. Let me make a couple of announcements while um, we're doing this so we can all go home at the same time. Yes, you can cut streaming off. Thank you. Not only do the deacons need your help, or the church needs your help in helping the deacons and Sister Regina and Sister Frederica Dole and Sister Will, those that's going to be in the kitchen, they need your help to help with, uh, with the uh, dipping of the food or whatever. They need your help with that. But not only what we fail to do, this is a fundraiser for the church. So many of us.